Hi, my name is Rachel Raymond. I'm with the Hendricks Regional Health YMCA, which is a part of the YMCA of Greater Indianapolis. I'm bringing you a HIIT workout today. You need a ball of sorts, whether it's a weighted ball, basketball, soccer ball. You um, can use this however you would like. If you don't have a ball, no worries, you don't need one. But if you have one and wanna go grab that right now, um, that's Perfect, so while you gather your things, get some water as well. Um, just so you know that we are continuing to drive the mission of the YMCA while our building still is closed. And just creating these videos for you to tap into, still get a good workout in. I love HIIT workouts because they're fast, they're furious, they're 30 minutes. You torch some calories, you get a total body workout all at the same time. So. Once you've got your things, we will start with a warm up. So you don't need your ball right now. So you just kind of set it off to the side. And we are going to start with a simple march in place. Or if you're ready, kind of depending on your day, whether it's morning, evening, you might want to go ahead and just take it up into a light jog. So I'll let you decide. We're just going to get things warmed up, get that body uh, prepared for a workout blood flowing, the heart rate elevated, and we'll go from there. Yeah, we're just gonna stay here just for a few more seconds, not too long. Remember, you can march in place if that's a better option for you. All right, everyone's gonna stop. We're gonna put our feet wide, hands on our hips or thighs, and we're just gonna do some squats here. Nothing too intense, just going up and down. I know with the uh, stay at home order, my workout routines have been out of whack, so I'll be uh, huffing and puffing right along with you. Okay, let's do two more. Here's one and two. Good. Stepping out, left, and then right. And then back to the left and to the right. So just working that easy little side lunge here, nothing too intense. Firing up in those, those glutes and the lower body. Okay, when you come back to the left, I'm gonna ask that you hold, push your hips back a little bit, really stretch through the legs. Take some breaths. Again, step back through center, go to the right side, hold. Again, push those hips back a little bit, stretch through the legs. Good. And then alternating again, just a couple more rounds. All right, and back to that march or light jog. This time get those arms involved. Go ahead, you can swing them wide and then crossing through the center. And if you don't want to do that, you don't, and you just Use your runner arms. All right, a few more seconds. Three, two, and stop. Feet wide. We're gonna have you walk out to a plank and just hold. And then we're gonna walk right back. Come all the way to standing. We'll do two more. Walk out to plank, hold, walk back. Last one, walk it out. Hold, stay here, come to your knees, make the palms wide, and we're gonna do some modified push-ups. So keep your toes curled under, and just lower down and push up. Go at your own pace. I'm going a little fast, but if you need to go slower, that's okay too. Let's do two more, and come back up to the toes. Walk it back up to plank. Big deep breath in, reach up. Exhale it out. All right, gang, roll the shoulders back. So we're gonna start our workout. I've got my timer that I need to get going. So we are gonna be working through 10 exercises. We will just go on from one to the next, to the next, to the next. They're not super complicated. So I will give you a preview in that rest period of 15 seconds. 30 seconds of work, 15 seconds of rest, 
Um, we've got two rounds, 10 exercises. So we'll um, basically doing, be doing 20 rounds total. So, and then at the end, I got a real treat for you. We got a little, some power moves, so. All right, first of all, let me get my clock going. And then when you're ready, we're gonna start. So you're gonna hear that beat. That's just a prep work. We're gonna do a squat with an overhead press. Ready? And go. So we're squatting and pressing. Squat and press. Now, if you wanna just do the squat, you hold the ball at chest level and just do the squat. And if you don't have a ball, you can bring your hands to your thighs or you can still do the squat and press overhead. Okay, so you kind of pick and choose what works best. Just watch the toes as you work in that squat. I'm sorry, the knees. All right, stop. Next are mountain climbers. So you can um, utilize the ball here if you want. You can bring your hands on up to the sides and drive those knees in. Or you can come down and do it traditionally on the floor. Go, that's your go sign. So you're driving those knees to the center of your chest. Work at your own pace. Try to keep your hips down and don't let them TP up. Make sure you're breathing through it. Alternating left and right lunge with a twist. Whichever leg that you step out with, same side you do the twist. So you can hold your ball here if you have one. All right, here we go. And go. So step out to your lunge, add the twist, step back, switch sides, and twist. Step, twist. If it's too much to do the twist, you can leave it out. But make sure you're hitting those nice lunge legs. Okay, so 90-90. All right, good job. Plank jacks. So with these, you're in a plank position, the legs open and close. It's not a wide jack with the legs, it's maybe just a little wider than hip distance. So go ahead and come on into your plank and go. So out, in, out, in. You can also tap right and then left. You can do single leg if that's a better option. You can do these on your knees too and you're just extending the leg like so, okay? around it, you 
looking at. It's kind of up to you. Stop. All right. Wood choppers. So grab your ball. If you don't have one, no worries. Start on one side. Stay on that side. Second round, we'll do the other side. So start on the right, start on the left. Bring the ball down. Squat, up and across. Slight diagonal. Little squat, smooth and controlled. If you don't have the ball, pretend you're holding like an ax handle. When you're coming down, swing it. You got it. Same side, make sure you stay on the same side. Nice job. Plank rotations. Again, stay on the same side here. We're gonna start in a plank. One hand will rotate open and back. Open and back. If you need to come to the knees, come to the knees and go. So knees, so if you're shortening the knees, shorten the lever of your arm as well, and lead with the elbow. All right, if you're in the full plank rotation, you're right here. If you wanna reach under, dial it up, you most certainly can. I'm not gonna stop you, you do you. If you need that plank just to hold and stabilize, it's okay, stop. All right, we've got a gallop with a leg curl. So this moves left and right. It's a two-step curl. I'll coach you through it. And we got one more. Woo! Are you ready? Here we go. So one hop, curl, one hop, curl, one hop. If you don't want to do the hop, you step it and still do the curl, so step in, lift. Try to squeeze your legs in that center hop. Awesome, all right, you've got a choice. Wall sit if you have the wall. If not, you're gonna hold a chair pose right here. That's our last one, we'll rest. We'll do it again. The rest isn't long though. Like I said, fast and furious. If you got a wall, go for it. And go. And maybe this time, since we are doing it twice, you want to mix it up. Maybe you want to take the chair pose first, and then the wall sit on the second time. If your arms are tired, just bring them to your thighs. Push your hips back, watch those knees, make sure they're not coming past your toes. again. Quick drink of water. We're not resting much here today. Maybe on round two, now that you know the moves, you crank up your intensity a little bit. Squat with press. Go. Squat. Press. So with the squat to dial it up, you're going to go further in the squat and push up. So drive through those feet, push and squeeze your glutes. Like you're trying to push that ball or whatever you have in your hand through the ceiling. Stop, mountain climbers. I'm gonna try these on the ball today, this round. You might want to as well. However, if your ball's a little deflated, might not be your better option. All right, hopefully I don't miss it. Ready? And go. Driving that knee in. Drive in. Go at your own pace. Now, if you're trying to crank up the intensity, go faster, but make sure your form is still good. Oh. there. I can feel it. <laughs> and 
and stop. All right, lunge with the twist, left and right legs alternating. I know my heart rate's up there. Hopefully you're just here, ready? And go. Lunge, add the twist. When you push back, push off with that front foot. Engage glutes, quads, hammies, stabilizers, all kinds of muscles firing here. Stop. All right, plank jacks. today this time arms wide feet wider than hips and go bring it up so you're controlling the movement by stabilizing that core again you don't have to touch the toe just bring the leg up and go faster if you want but remember your form if your arms get tired like mine you can always modify all right ball agility again if you don't have a ball it's okay but if you have one go ahead and bring it in now some of us might want to work a 180 so or you can work a 360 go all the way around the ball ready and go Try not to look at the ball. Try to look straight ahead once you get your feet and your legs going. How you move it? Maybe, maybe not. Give it a try if you haven't. Stop. Woo! Wood choppers. Make sure you don't do the same side twice. Breathe. All right, feet a little wider than hips. And go. So, a little squat, up and across. Make sure you're not bending over too far when you go in the down position. ourselves. The 
time we'll start. I guess to your left, to be my right. Ready? So one hop, curl, one hop, curl. So if body attack is your jam, this is one of the moves. It's called a gallop. Squeeze, maybe you catch more air in the hop. Hop. Heel the butt. Metrics can be harder than moving. Stay with it. Good. All right. That's our final buzzer, but I'm not done with you, so hold tight. Okay, folks. We've got burpees, long jumps, and a body saw to finish strong. So with the burpees, I'm gonna have you go one full minute on each of these, knowing that at any point you can take a break. So as I'm talking, get some water, find your breath, walk around the room a little bit, give your kiddos or your dog or whoever a high five. Maybe it's your cat, your fish. And we'll hit this. These three rounds, you only got to do it once, and then we're out of here. We're done. All right. Those heart rates should have come down by now. We should be feeling pretty good. Let me reset my timer, and we will get going. So we've got three sets. Ooh. Three. Well, I guess my fingers. We've got one minute, and we've got... 30 seconds. Does that sound fair? 30 seconds in between. So three exercises, one minute, 30 seconds of rest in between the three, and we're done. All right, here we go. Burpees. I'll walk you through some options. Level one, feet wide. Hands go down. You step your feet back, and you come back up and stand. Again. You're stepping back and standing. Level two, shoot those legs back, stand, stand. Level three, down, back, up, hop. So add the explosion. If you get tired, know your options. It's okay. I know I need to. All right, you got 10 seconds. Woo! One more. Oh, all right. Long jump. You're gonna jump forward twice. You're staying low. So it's two jumps forward, back pedal, back to your starting position. Woo, those burpees, they get me every time. All right, here we go. So it's one, two, back it up, feet wide. your arms to propel yourself forward, back it up, feet wide, hop, soft landing, set those feet 
feet wide every time. See if you can go further this time. Ah. Come on. Shoot through the TV. Almost there in 10 seconds.